yeah, wait a minute. There's there was Overwatch news today. Oh, wait, I forgot. Shit. Uh <laughs> where did I get my Overwatch news? Um Oh, here we go. Oh, this is really epic. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Alright, ready? Ahem. <clears throat> Story missions pricing has been announced for Overwatch 2. Invasion bundle, 15 bucks. Permanent access to invasion story missions. 1,000 Overwatch coins, Sojourn leg Legendary skin. So apparently, you gotta pay for the fucking PvE missions. You gotta pay! Wasn't this known? Yeah, but I, I assume, maybe, maybe I'm naive. I assumed it was for the promised stuff that we had to pay for. I didn't think they would carry that over to this. Like, I, I thought if it was everything that they talked about previously, then sure. Smart. But then they just said I that mean, they're going to do the story missions. Because you have to pay for Fortnite. <sighs> I expected to because you have to pay for Fortnite. Okay, but Fortnite PvE existed before the Battle Royale did. Actually, I'll have you guys know, Avast is a fucking OG Fortnite player. Avast actually played the PvE. I remember. <laughs> he played that shit with um, one of my other Bird Noises teammates, Train. Smart. Those two Hello, played the, Fort the Fortnite PvE together. <clears throat> the Rise of Null Sector begins with new story missions. <gasps> what?! In Zero Hour, we saw the Rogue Omni group Null Sector invade Paris. It was thanks this to Winston, Tracer, May, to be a handful of others. Of heroes of the, the city was safe from destruction. However, the global invasion has only just begun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Overwatch 2 invasion, you and your friends can take on three. Actually, there's three missions that we're getting that you have to pay for. There's three missions. Um, the intensified force of Null Sector who will continue to attack until you've completely dismantled them. Stay alert for challenging enemies that haven't been encountered before, such as the powerful artillery and the deadly stalkers. Wait, are the stalkers those enemies that everybody on Twitter started, like, getting really horny for? The one that, like, grabbed you or whatever? Anybody remember that? Or am I, like, imagining things? I remember that? Yeah! One mission is 30 minutes of playtime? Wait, what? How do you- where do you see- what? Where did you see that? One mission is 30 minutes of playtime minus cutscenes and shit? Smart. Wait, hold on. Oh, these are the patch notes. Okay, hold up. Um, you can get started on your mission to save the world with the Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle for $15. This bundle includes permanent access to the Overwatch 2 Invasion Story Missions. Yeah, okay. Permanent access to Sojourn as a playable hero for new players upon... Okay. I... Uh, how, how do I say this? I really hate how Blizzard is doing this thing with certain, like, bundles or packages where... How do I explain it? They did it with the beta, too. Or, like, remember? It was, it was like, the, the watch point pack where... How, how do I explain this? They, they include things in the package that, like, certain p people already have. So, if you buy it, like, you're just not getting that value from it. You know what I mean? Like with the Watchpoint pack, they said, oh, it's 40 bucks. And if you buy it, you get Overwatch. Access. You get Overwatch until Overwatch 2 comes out. But like, for people that already had Overwatch, you don't get money off of that. It just stays 40 bucks. You know what I mean? I think, I think there should be a discount if you kind of already have something in the package that they're offering. Um, here we go. Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundles intend to give new and veteran players like the opportunity to explore this brand new story arc while giving them additional coins. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can also upgrade the Overwatch 2 Ultimate Invasion Bundle for $40! What?! You will have access to the, all the above, as well as the Null Sector Premium Battle Pass with 20 Battle Pass skips. Don't care. An additional 1,000 Overwatch coins. Don't care. Two additional Legendary Skins for Cassidy and Kiriko. Don't care. In addition to Story Missions, you'll be able to take part in a bonus, new bonus co-op mission on King's Row. Explore the all-new areas of King's Row map as you guide a well-armed TS-1 pushbot on a mission to save Iggy and the rest of the Omnic Underworld from Null Sector. Okay. Along with new Null Sector enemies that may somehow feel familiar. 
What does that mean? Are there like Omnics that are like the Taskmaster? Where they just are basically AI versions of the heroes? Flashpoint! This is the new game mode. Um, This mode will feature two new locals that are Overwatch 2's biggest PvP maps to date. Teams will fight for control of key positions across the map called Flashpoints, aim at, aiming to capture three of them before their opponents do. You'll have no time to relax once a point is captured, as the next one will be already be waiting. So is this more like... I'm curious if, if this is more like 5 CP from TF2 or like Domination from Call of Duty. It, but is this hard point? I don't think it is. Because what you guys are saying, hard point is like king of the hill, where the hill rotates around the map, right? But I, I don't think that's what this is, this is describing. This sounds like 5 CP from TF2, to me. Smart. 53 months. Can I get a plink in chat? But it says, ELS. not only will this mode test your mechanicals, but also your ability to plan ahead. Stopping opponents from moving on to the next flashpoint will be a huge key to victory. So I don't know. Is it domination? Smart. Super kiss. Maybe it's a mix of domination and hardpoint. I don't know. It's hardpoint, but the objective only moves once captured in its first to three. Um, offering new ways to master your skill. Oh, this is the stupid fucking training range, isn't it? <laughs> Smart. Or the firing range and the Chelsea hero mastery. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot coming when Overwatch 2 Invasion launched on August 10th. We'll be showing gameplay for much of this new content later this summer, including during the Overwatch 2 Invasion reveal live stream on June 21st. Realistically, Ooh. for our addicts like me that buy every battle pass anyway, we're only spending $5 extra to keep the pff forever. I assumed it's free to play until season 6 Maybe. Ends, but Blizzard sucks at I mean, they say they'll, they'll, they'll explain shit. more on June 21st, so maybe they'll explain it then. Um... I mean, that's all the stuff in Season 6. This is what I mean. This is kind of... I think this kind of ties into my tweet. I don't know if you guys saw my tweet today. Where I said, Season 6 of Overwatch looks like you can breathe some fresh air, fresh life in the game. But with Season 5 looking a little bare bones, maybe a slight break from Overwatch might be... Normal. This is what I mean. Like, they're, they're promoting all this Season 6 shit. But I feel like they're just kind of glossing over Season 5. Like, eh, nobody cares about... Season, you know what I mean? But this is, this, is, this is one thing that's cool, I guess. They're adding prop hunt, apparently. They are adding prop on, which is pretty neat. The Toronto Mission Overwatch 2 Invasion lasted 31 minutes? Oh, this is the Game Informer magazine. Oh, hell nah. I was pleasantly surprised by not only how massive the map is, but also by how diverse the battles felt. Story missions will not feature a single player mode for- Really? Will not feature a single player mode for Overwatch 2 Invasion? The missions always consist of other human players, and there's no current way to play alongside a team of bots. Hmm. Why would you not? Why would you want to play with bots? I mean, you. I mean, obviously, like it's not preferable, but like, I don't know. What if you just wanted to play, play the play the missions? You know, some people. Oh wait, there was one thing though. That I was interested. Oh yeah, I saw this too. But the new the new competitive mode is five stack only team queue. <laughs> Interesting. August 4th, log into Overwatch 2 to catch the brand new animated short premiering exclusively in game. Oh my god, like a, like a, like a Fortnite event! Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right, I saw this too. Apparently there's a new, they're adding, they're bringing back the on fire system. Which, but again, this just proves my point. I feel like, about them changing things for Overwatch 2, for the sole purpose of changing them. Like, they just took it away, and now they're just adding it back. With a so with a the tiniest change to it, like what the fuck, dude? Really? It's so stupid. Like, was it? Is it okay? Is this the illusion of giving us new content, or did they do this? Like, did they take it away and realize that there was no reason to, so they're bringing it back? Like, what what's happening here? This one was so happy pride just not entirely implemented, so they didn't have it at launch. No, but see that that's what's so weird to me though is that the system. But it's been in the game since the game launched because heroes have the that the season six they've had their on fire the voice lines since the game launched kind of sus but, tied. but you just there was no visual for it but like if you listened you know something like zen would be like you know you'd be like oh i am on fire or whatever i don't know
Maybe I'm just being a little bitch for no reason. Where's the- There it is. Lifeguard Mercy. <laughs> oh my- Jesus. That's gonna generate millions?